Earlier this year, Volkswagen debuted an all-new Tiguan that's larger, with an improved interior aimed squarely at the US market. But this ain't it. Turns out VW is going to sell the old Tiguan alongside the new big boy, at least for a while. So let's hop behind the wheel of this 2017 Volkswagen Tiguan S and see how the old Tiger Iguana is holding up. Now I've only been able to sit in the newer, larger Tiguan, but compared to that, this Tiguan S is still looking pretty good for space. I mean, I've got the seat set comfortably for a five foot nine person, and if I climbed into the back seat right now, there would be plenty of leg and headroom for me. So unless you're gonna fill this thing up with NBA players, I think most people are gonna be pretty good on space. However, compared to the new model, this interior is starting to look a little bit dated, though, Volkswagen's sort of understated design is what I like to call timelessly boring, so at the very least it'll never cross the threshold into being totally outdated, so it's got that going for it. And with the dashboard we've got Volkswagen's base level of tech in this Tiguan S and it's actually still pretty good. I mean the screen's a little bit small, but with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay coming standard, I think most people are going to be happy with this. It gets the job done. I've got almost zero complaints and that's rare. Now part of the reason Volkswagen is keeping this older, smaller Tiguan around, I think, is so that it can remain price and size competitive with models like Ford Escape, the Honda CRV, Mazda CX-5. It's no secret the Mazda is my favorite in this class, so let's compare this to that. Now the Volkswagen's handling and steering just feel a lot more muted than the Mazda CX-5. It's less responsive. Plus, I think the Mazda's got a better looking interior, though in Volkswagen's favor, I think that it's understated handling. It may actually end up being a selling point for drivers who either don't care or don't know a lot about performance. They're just looking for something comfortable. And this is comfortable. But the Volkswagen has a secret weapon under its hood. That's where you'll find the two liter turbocharged engine outputting 200 horsepower and 207 pound feet of torque. Now it sends that to the front wheels via a six speed automatic transmission, but you can get Volkswagen's four motion all wheel drive as an option. Now that engine is a fantastic piece of machinery. Compared to the Mazda, heck, compared to everything else in this class, it feels much more responsive and its power is much more usable. Now, I've got to say, the engine note doesn't sound great, but then again, this isn't an enthusiast car. Most people aren't going to be buying it for the sound. Plus, most of the performance lives in that sort of mid-range area of the torque curve where the sound's not that pronounced. Around town on a nice twisty road, I mean, that engine just sings. I don't think it would be a stretch to call this the best engine in the class, which is interesting because the car wrapped around it is kind of boring and a little vanilla. The 2017 Volkswagen Tiguan starts at around $25,000 for a base Tiguan S like this one, and I'm pretty sure that most people would be happy with just that, though if you go crazy with the options, you can get the price of this thing up to around $37,000. At the end of the day, the 2017 Volkswagen Tiguan is a very democratic car that doesn't really lean too far in any direction. It's sure to appeal to most people. And at the core, there's that fantastic engine that we spoke about. Honestly. I can see why Volkswagen wants to keep this thing around for a couple years longer.